Hey, what is up, everyone? This is Dark Sage 101, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Advance. Oh, uh, last episode we made it to the underworld, which is uh, kind of interesting. Uh, found out that there is, well, no devils, <laughs> which is interesting, at least not yet. Um, there's dwarves, which is also cool. Uh, we fought Calcabrina. And we also fought uh, Golbez. Um, pretty much defeated him in a way. Uh, although he had a hand left. And he got the crystals. So now he has seven crystals right now. Uh, we've got Rydia. Which is awesome. As you can see I'm, I have her as my character of choice right now. So yeah. We're going to be... Uh, Using Rydia as our character of choice for today. And also to fight new enemies and stuff. And actually, I did grind quite a bit off screen. I'm going to show you in a second. Let me just kill these guys really quick. Uh, and I also, uh, before, you know, I mentioned it like later on in the episode, this is going to be a one video day. So, yeah. Mainly because I want to save some other st uh, some things for tomorrow. Yeah, I want to save uh, Legends of the Minish Cap for tomorrow. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of pre-recording. Because I have finals coming up next week. So. And I'm going to be doing a lot of pre-recording this weekend. So, yeah. Also, I've been getting a lot of that mithril equipment. As you can see, everyone's 30. And Kane's at 32. So, Yeah. I, I just did a very light amount of grinding and it, you know, worked pretty well, so, yeah. So, let's go over here. And I did fight quite a few new enemies. Actually, I'll show you really fast. Oh, God. So that's still Golem. Uh, Goblin Captain is one of them. And I think that's it. I think it's just the... Yeah, it's just the Goblin Captain. That's the only thing I found that was new. Uh, they're basically just the normal goblins of this area. Oh gosh, I did so much damage. Okay, um... Aim this guy. I did quite a bit of damage. Let's use bio. As you can see, Rydia is uh, quite the meat grinder. Yeah, like I, I used her quite a bit off screen, and man, is she powerful. Yeah, Rydia, at this point in the game, Rydia is very good. So. Alright, well. And yes, Yang has been doing over a thousand damage each attack. It's a back attack. Twelve, 
300. All right. I mean, this is like free experience for goodness sake. I'm lagging just a little bit. All right, well, save this, oh my gosh, save this some time. You know, this is preemptive. The enemies down here really aren't really that powerful. There you go. Oh, jeez. Oh, by the way, the goblin captains actually give you a lot of experience, might I add. Why? I have no idea. Since they're like easily the, the easiest enemies down here. Yeah, so uh, they give me 1,500. Alright, they're starting to attack over there. Let me just... That's the Tower of Babel, by the way. Hi. Again. Babel Tower. Ice arrow... More ice arrows. Uh, all the things in here are fire, so that is actually very useful. Actually, I have 91. This is fine. There we go. Eh, you know what? I'm not even going to fight that. Or run away from a few fights here. Ether. Oh, jeez. It's quite the encounter right there. Yeah, I only did 190, because that was fire on fire. Yeah, Yang's doing a lot of damage. Uh, not bio. We'll do Blizzard too. Just have you defend. Go for this guy. He almost did 3,000 there. And that will kill that guy. Green Beret. Um, a semi solid item. Yeah, it lowers resistance, which isn't great. It's better than the feather cap, we'll take it. Oh jeez. Okay, that's uh that's a great encounter. Sixteen. Eighteen. One. 
Alright. Hundred and forty four, yeah, that was nice. You know what? Shiva. Twenty six hundred. And then diamond dust, this is gonna do a heck of a lot of damage. Oh jeez, yeah, okay. <laughs> Four thousand on one of them, yeah. I should not be using summon spells with, with this character right now. I should be just using the normal black magic because dude, these summon spells are just overpowered. I mean, hey, hey, it's going to be really helpful during the boss fights. Oh, yeah. Oh, when it, when it becomes a boss fight, oh, I'm going all out with the summon magic. Monsters. Okay, we got a new enemy. The security eye. Which basically, it's kind of the em the, uh, the enemy summer, sun summoner. Uh, yeah, it's like the enemy uh, summoner. And there's a Chimera. Which is a new enemy. I believe it's weak to fire. Or not fire. Um, sorry. Weak to ice. I'm gonna do bio, though. Yeah, that was... That was perfect. Ooh, Ice Bear. Nice. That's exactly what I like to see. Excellent. All right, that's good. Um, let's actually let's see what the Chimera is weak to. Uh, where is the Chimera? Oh, jeez. Oh, there it is. Chimera or Chimera. Um, seven hundred. It's got no weakness. It absorbs fire, ice, and lightning. Okay, so it absorbs all elements. So yeah, bio was definitely the right choice. That's 700 health. <laughs> okay, well, we got another new enemy. The Fiery Knight. Pretty much everything is weak to ice in here, so this is perfect. Oh jeez, yeah, that that just that just destroyed him right there. Yeah, Yang, Cecil, and uh Rydia are easily our best members for this. And that hurt. Okay. Oh, it really hurt. Then kill him. Gosh darn it. There you go. Jeez, I took a beating right there. All right. Yang almost has two thousand health. This. Absolutely ridiculous. And a cat claw. I believe that's a good one. Uh, yeah, it is. Sleeps the enemy. That's actually very useful. We need that. We'll just fight it, whatever. Stone gaze, great. K 
hang out another level. Oh my gosh, dude. Killer bow. That actually is a very good item right there. Just like in Fire Emblem, it has high criti uh, critical hit chance. So, very useful. Oh, okay, well we got an another new enemy, the Mystery Egg. Which, basically, if you give it enough time, it will hatch. And, of course, you can kill it. Uh, I think it's got about 600 health, so it doesn't matter much. Got a phoenix down there. I'm not complaining about that. Those are good. High potion. Alright, cool. I don't care for that. Oh, yeah. No. I'm not gonna fight that. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, okay. Well, we got another new enemy right there, anyways. The White Moose. Which is weak to uh, ice. Ice magic, that is. So, ride yet. Uh, let's just do. Yep. This is fine. Aim. Just gotta kill that Chimera. There we go. There we go. I need to go use an ether really quick. How many ethers do I have? I have, I probably have a lot more than 20 to be honest. I think I have like capped right now. I don't really. I thought I had capped uh, ethers. Yeah, whatever. 20 is still a lot though. Okay, well, we got another security eye. Naga, cool. Well, wow, that thing was weak. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, Rydia uses whips. Not the... There we go. Ooh, got a lot of stuff there. Got an ice shield as well. Uh, let's get that to. Yeah, let's get that to you. Let's give it to Kane. Oh my gosh, dude. Enough with the encounter rate. I think I'll run back because I think I missed something. We're going to be running away uh, from like a few battles here because well, the encounter rate in here is its not fun. Luckily, because I'm so over leveled right now, or like on level, uh, running away actually doesn't really. Oh my gosh, the encounter rate! Uh, it doesn't really, you know, cost me much with the gill. I don't think, like, literally the max is like 200 when I'm losing. So. Monsters! 
Yeah, there's the other security eye. Stone Golem, cool. <laughs> oh man, that that sucks. <laughs> Jeez. Man, that thing died. Yeah, that was pretty basic. Ooh, Ice Lance. Ice Lance is good. We will equip that instead of the Blood Lance, although we are going to keep the Blood Lance. We are going to keep that because that's a good weapon. But we need the Ice Lands just for this area. Okay, Mystery Egg, whatever. Oh my gosh. This encounter is driving me crazy. An Arctic wind. Cool. I just went around in circles. That's just great. Gosh, I hate this area. This is one tower I don't like. I just went back to the first floor. What the heck am I doing? I got ambushed by goblin captains. Alright, whatever. You guys are weak. Rose is actually doing some pretty good damage with that bow and arrow. Because of the, the killer bow. It's got good damage output. You don't need to fight that. <sighs> Yet again, just walking one step and I encounter. Dude, leave me alone. Gosh, these enemies. Dude, two times in a row, I, I step once. Yeah, I I go up one one panel and I encounter something. Oh my gosh, I'm lost. One second. Okay, there we go. Jeez Louise, man. This encounter rate's relentless. Okay, good. Yeah, like I said, the encounter rate in here is awful to deal with. Some of the highest encounter rate you'll you'll see in this playthrough. Oh, 
<sighs> I'm running away from a lot of fights because this is this encounter rate's driving me crazy right now. Okay, you know what? We'll just fight this one. Oh, I actually damaged him. Okay. Alright, whatever. Aim. I know that's gonna heal him. Yeah, it's whatever. Nope. And nope. She's still not dead? There we go. Finally. All right. Oh my gosh, this is driving me crazy. Dude, really? Yeah, one Chimera. Arctic Wind. I believe that casts Blizzard 2, I think. I believe so. The point in finding that. Another high potion. Come on, man. Enemies won't leave me alone. <laughs> The door is locked. Yep. Just wanted to show you that because we go there um, not, not too long from now. Yeah, you know what? We'll just fight this. The encounter is driving me crazy right now. Alright, just one shot him. Oh my gosh, dude. Great back attack. Uh, I've got to use a Shiva here because there's six of them. No way a Blizzard 2 is going to kill all of them. Man. Rydia just took a beating right there. She took like almost 300 right there. Put him to sleep. That's good. We're right, going to do a Shiva and that will just kill everything because Shiva is broken. Summoning magic, like, Rydia right now is broken beyond belief. She's easily my best character. Well, because so many magic is just broken. Well, at least at this point of the game, it is. Come on, Rydia, hurry up. There you go. Oh. Yeah, that, yeah, that did quite a bit there. I got 2,100 experience from that? Not bad. Okay, well, we got another new enemy, the Medusa.
Well, that was pitiful. Another area to use a tent. Do I need to use one? Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll just do it just because. Besides, we almost we have like almost 50 tents right now. So we might as well start using these things. What's our levels looking like? Okay, everyone's 31 except Kane. Okay. Dry Aether. Actually, uh, the training actually was mainly for Rydia. No, of course, yeah, she's a broken character right now. But I do have one issue with her, with Rydia right now is her HP. She doesn't even have 700. So... Uh, you know, I'm not even going to use magic on that thing. Aim. And then kill this thing. Yeah, just guard. There we go. The eighth floor. Uh, this is actually a boss right here. I guess we'll go and fight him really quick. As soon as we get ambushed by two steel, uh, two stone golems, that's just great. Great timing, guys. Thirty-two hundred, cheese Louise, man. Yeah, you guys don't stand a chance. I'm doing like almost twenty-five hundred a hit with these guys. Oh, I think that's Rubiconte right there, and Doctor Lugay, I believe is his name. Have a safe trip, Master Rubiconte. Not to worry, Eblen has been decimated along with its ninjas. Take care of things until I return. I see. He looks like Dr. Wily, by the way. Or at least his back sprite does. <laughs> He's a, he is a mad scientist. I do like this guy. He's pretty, he's pretty cool. <laughs> Golbez and Nubakante are gone. I'm in charge now. What's with him? Shh. Who's there? Yeah, good going, Rydia. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Cecil, how'd you get up here? Caught you at a bad time, eh? With Rubicante away? What are you gonna do? How dare you disrespect me, fools! I may not be an old elemental lord, but I, Dr. Lugay, am the brains of Golbez's operation. On my honor, on my honor, I will protect this tower. That's a laugh. I've heard enough of it out of you. My great creation will shut you up soon enough. Bring it on. All right, Barnabas. Uh, I'll just attack Barnabas. You can also just attack uh, Dr. Lugay over here. Uh, don't kill him yet, though. But you can't attack him, though. Just go for Barnabas. If you want uh, to get the second form of this fight. And I do want to get the second form. Barnabas hits pretty hard though. This is actually a decently hard fight, but it's not that bad. Barnabas, attack! Grr. 
let's just do a bio. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Bio. I think bio actually works on Barnabas. Strangely. Yeah. I I don't know how. All right. Well, it died. Okay. Don't kill Doctor Lee yet. Just have everyone guard. Because we do want to unlock the second form of this fight. So we're just going to have everyone guard just for a second here. My baby. You left me no choice. I'll control myself. Barnabas Z. And he's really not that hard. Yeah, he's still really not that bad. He hits decently hard, don't get me wrong. But he's still not that difficult. We'll just do a Shiva. Just put him out of his misery really quick. Oh my gosh, I did so much damage. Yeah, you see, like, the guy, he's not a pushover. Like, he's no wimp or anything like that. He hits hard, so. Alright, this is gonna hurt. Oh wow, that actually did a lot less than I thought that was going to. A58, okay. Probably, probably should have just used bio then. Okay, well... He died. How dare you face my true evil? Okay, we're gonna fight again. All right. All right, now we have to fight him himself. No more games. Sleeping gas. Yeah, he just does status effects. Okay. Uh, bio. Alright, Asuna. We'll do... Yeah, we'll do Kane. And I'll do a jump. Transform. And he turns into whatever the heck that is. That's like a mechanical skeleton looking creature. Let's just do a bio, I guess. I think it still works on him. Yeah. How? I have no idea. Don't question this game. Everyone's poisoned right now. Which isn't good. Rydia is dishing out a bunch of damage, so that is helpful. We're just gonna have to keep using this Suna. We'll just do it on Yang. Ooh, 1,200, not bad. Dr. Lugay has a ton of health, by the way. I think, I think he's got like 12,000 from memory, so he's he's got a decent amount. Okay, there we go. He's dead. That took a little bit, though. And I need that. You're too late. The Tower of Babel connects to the underworld, or connects the underworld and the overworld. And Rubicante has already taken the, all the crystals to the surface. The dwarves will be annihilated with my cannons. Victory, victory is mine. Mwahaha.
The dwarves are in danger. We gotta stop the cannons. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Um, should I heal really quick? Well, yeah, everyone's like poisoned right now. Yeah, you know what? Let's quickly heal. This is, does this little Pokemon thing. I hate it so much, man. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> I don't care. I just want to go to, you know, that little save point so I can go, like, you know, rest my characters. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, you know what? We'll just do it this way. That was a waste of time. Actually, I'm pretty sure we can't go in that door right now. At least as far as I know. You know the door that's down here? As I encounter more things. Dwarves is fun. You cowards. You, how'd you get in here? Kill him. I should have healed, but that's okay. It's just goblin captains, that's nothing. Alright, weak. Destroy the controls. Nothing can stop the cannons now. Darn it. Yang, what are you doing? Leave this to me. Go get out of here. No, it's going to explode. Go now. Oh yeah, I think we lose Yang right here. I should have unequipped this stuff because he had some good things. Cecil, everyone, I thank you. Open the door. Yang, please don't do this. Tell my wife. I will always be with her. Yang, farewell. Yang. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. We lose Yang right here. I probably... Yeah, dang it, I should have unequipped his stuff because he had some good things on him that's okay because we don't get a, another character that uses claws so okay well <sighs> and then righty at ice Oh my gosh, this game's relentless. I need to end this episode in a second anyways. I'm just trying to get to a save point, but like... These enemies are like destroying me right now. Rip Yang. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I definitely should have unequipped his things, but it's okay. 
none of none of his equipment really wasn't really was that helpful though. I mean, other than the black belt and the uh, green beret, really, he didn't really have much. He had the cat claws and he had a he had an ice claw. That's what he had in terms of weapons. I'm just trying to get to a save point, but these enemies are just preventing me from doing that. Okay, there we go. Seems like... Yeah, it's some kind of warp, warp system. It looks like no use to us. Oh my gosh, dude. Can I get to like a healing point? Oh yeah, we have to actually get out of the Tower of Babel. I think I don't think there's anything left. There's a chest right there. Okay, you know what? We'll just end it right. We'll we'll end it right here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was interesting. <laughs> kind of a long video, uh, because this dungeon takes forever to get through. But hope you guys enjoyed. So the next one, which will be tomorrow, alongside a Minish Cat video. So yeah, so the next one, goodbye.